Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Anna. I'm fine. And you? Um, I'm okay. Thank you. Nice. Did you enjoy the weekend? Yes, almost. So, almost. so. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> yes, okay. because uh, in the last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, I met with my family in my house. Yeah. Uh, all day and on um, Sunday I went to the market in the morning uh, because I bought the vegetable and fruit for, for the week for, yes for mm -hmm. all week ah, okay. and then in the afternoon I watched uh, movies with with my family and ah. then Mm -hmm. uh, I studied uh, a little time with the refresh of irregular bears in post participle. Ah, nice, nice. You are yes. practicing. Yes, I practice. Um, uh, what else? And then in the at night, um, I went to the pupuserias or mm -hmm. uh, I ate pupusas with my nephew and my brother oh, and okay. yes then I went to I went to bed at 10 p.m. that's so <laughs> wow but you had a nice a nice weekend yesterday yes. in, my, in my house I was checking you know some uh, homework from my students and uh, the electricity went off like around 5 p.m. so we didn't oh. have electricity <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and I couldn't work I was just like watching my cell phone and watching videos only and, uh, only in your house or in your neighborhood in my neighborhood in the whole neighborhood oh yeah yeah it was kind of strange and then I was like you know checking my cell phone yes, in this time, time of the years in this time of the year is it's strange because yeah, it is not problem raining. is only yeah uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's very weird but yeah and anyway I was like checking my cell phone you know I couldn't check anything because it was very dark and then um and then I went to bed because I went to bed around nine, nine thirty. So we were like four or five hours with no electricity. And I was like, anyways, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I don't have anything <laughs> else to do. Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything else to do. At so the end of at the end of the day, uh, you have a a good time because you rest. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to rest today, not yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was like yes I'm going to work I'm going to finish check-in but then the electricity you know uh, go and sleep okay and I'm like okay yeah and today today my day was very busy because I was checking all the day it was hard. yes <laughs> hi Vania okay. hi Josue how are you hi teacher fine are you I'm okay thank you nice to see you well nice to listen to you hi Josue Hi, Mister. How are you? How are you? Are uh, you are you on? Yeah, you're on. Yeah, I can listen to you now. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a little problem, but are you okay? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to wait a couple of minutes, people. Just let me. Let's see. Just let me find something here because. Some of my students, my other students are asking for something, but yeah, this is going to be very quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where is Pedro? We don't see Pedro here. <laughs> <laughs>
Pedro didn't appear when we started that class. <laughs> yeah, he appears when we start the class. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he disappears. <laughs> ah, he disappears. Yeah, I don't know. He's afraid, I think. <laughs> this is very strange because always. Uh, yeah, he's the first one, right? <laughs> he's the first one, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we're going to start, okay? And all right, I think we're done. So um, thank you so much for joining us, okay? And remember, this is the last week of the level or the module, okay? So I think you're very excited to finish this. Um, and I'm very excited too because I, we have been practicing a lot and I really liked all the environment that we have here, okay? But we have four days more to continue practicing and that's the idea of these classes, right? So let's see, I have some, um, I have another game, you know, so that we can continue practicing because basically we are in the last topic and I want to go little by little with that topic. And I also want to practice the, the, the simple past with you guys, okay? So uh, one more time, we are going to see some other questions here. I think some of them are a little bit different um, from what we have on the previous uh, game, okay? I think here we have more, we have 25, 28, 29, okay? So they are a little bit more but maybe we can practice two times each person since we are just a few students and a few people. I think we can, um, um, uh, yeah, we can practice a little bit more, okay? Remember, you can say uh, as many sentences as you want, but try to keep it simple, okay? I just want to see if you are able to use the simple past correctly, okay? So right now, simple past, okay? Don't, 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 don't think about, the past participle verbs because that's something different. Okay, so let's see. Okay. I'm going to start. Well, I'm going to start. Okay, now I want to have green because green is my favorite color. Okay, so I'm going to begin. Let's see. Yay, six. Okay, let's see. So I'll go to number six. Who did you see yesterday? Uh, yesterday I saw uh, one of my best friends. He has a taqueria, so I wanted to eat a torta, you know, a very delicious torta. So I went there and uh, yeah, uh, we spoke for some minutes. Sometimes he's very busy, that's why we don't go out that much. You know, he has a business, he has a taqueria, so uh, it is very difficult for us to get together, yeah. But I got, uh, I had the chance to see him. We talked for some minutes and then I enjoyed the delicious torta <laughs> because they are very delicious. Mm -hmm. So anytime okay. if you come, if you come to Metapan, um, visit uh, Taqueria El Toro, okay? <laughs> because that's my best friend's business and the, 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 all the food, all the Mexican food is very delicious, okay? So whenever you come to Metapan, don't forget to visit Taqueria El Toro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anna, what color do you want, Anna? Blue. Blue, like the blue sky. Yes. Wow, six. Nice. So you want this to win again? With you. <laughs> yeah, you want to be the winner again, I think. So tell us, Anna, yes. who did you see yesterday? <laughs> Uh, my uh, uh, yesterday I saw my nephew mm -hmm. because uh, he didn't come here mm -hmm. uh, two months ago. Ah, and okay. yes, and when he come here, came here. Sorry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to the uh, pupuseria because ah. I ate pupusas with with them, mm -hmm. uh, including my brother and my and my nephews. And then I returned to my house and 
I watch some program with that television mm -hmm. and then I went, went to bed around the 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Nice. Nice. Yes, okay. only Excellent. that. Excellent. Thank you, Anna. Let's see, Ivania. What color do you want, Ivania? Red. Red. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Ivania, you got number four. Okay. Red. It says, miss a turn. Oh, you're going to lose a turn, okay? So the next time you're not going to participate, okay? Yes. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's see, no. Josue. What color do you want, Josue? Josue, are you there? I think he's getting problems with the cell phone or the audio. Okay, don't worry. Okay, my turn. That's gonna be my second turn. Let's see. Four. Okay, I'm in color green. One, two, three, four. Uh, what did you do for your last birthday? Ah, good question. My last birthday. Hmm. Last year for my last birthday. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, during the day of my birthday, I didn't do many things, you know. I didn't do anything. I, I just stayed at home. And then at night, my family had a celebration for me in my house. You know, we prepared a steak. Uh, we drank soda, okay. And, uh, yeah, of course, the cake, okay, the delicious cake from Bam Bam because I like those type of cakes. <laughs> That's the name of the business, Bam Bam, okay? And okay. yeah, I think it was really nice, but I enjoyed the Saturday because my birthday last year was on Sunday. And on Saturday, I went to San Salvador with my best friend and we went to watch a movie. Then we went to, uh, we went to dance, you know, and we were, uh, we went with, some friends, so we were basically celebrating my, my birthday <laughs> one day before. <laughs> yeah, but it was nice. Okay, it's I really a good liked. celebration. Yeah, it was a good celebration. It was like a two-day celebration. <laughs> so yeah, it was yes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Anna, you're next. Okay. Four, the same one? Really? I follow you, you your step. <laughs> yeah. Your step. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see that you're following me. <laughs> I so. follow you. <laughs> uh, so let what me about see. you, Anna? What did you do? I remember, I uh -huh. remember uh, the last, my last birthday, uh, I, I went out with my mm -hmm. best friend at Tony Roma's restaurant. Oh, wow. And mm -hmm. yes, my best friend uh, celebrate to my birthday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't remember it exactly is that breakfast or lunch, but and also I met with her uh, the whole day uh, mm. after that a lunch maybe i remember mm -hmm. i don't remember very well uh after but the you lunch, were you were eating something <laughs> yes <laughs> but okay. the, uh -huh. the 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 after that i went to her house mm -hmm. and i mm, met with her families and mm -hmm. celebrate with uh, with her nephews maybe uh, ah, is okay. exactly that um the same bird her nephews yes is the same ah, nephew that me ah. and i cut the cake with uh -huh. with chi yes chi uh, with and her? Uh -huh. with her sorry with her and then I went out 
to the movies. Uh, I watch, I, I don't remember, which is the name of the movie that in that moment uh, is a state of, I don't remember, how do you say estreno? Uh, it was uh, the premiere. Ah, sorry, the premiere in that moment, I don't remember very well, but... Um, Avengers? No. Huh. I a... don't remember very well, but it's related <laughs> to the uh, the comics. And, ah, yeah, but... so it, it is Avengers, yeah, when you have uh, <laughs> Iron Man, but Hulk. Me, uh -huh. I didn't like movie, <laughs> but ah, <okay. laughs> when she asked me, uh, I for apologize, I ask I an my answer in that moment is yes, it's a good movie, but <laughs> in my opinion, I didn't like that movie. Uh -huh. And then um when I returned to my house, mm -hmm. uh, my brother and my father mm -hmm. uh, asked me for that cut uh, new cake again. Mm -hmm. And then I remember called my sister, my older sister, called to me and she congratulated me. And mm -hmm. then I almost is the most important thing that remember in that day. <laughs> ah, perfect, perfect. So you ate cake two times? Yes, two ah, times. Nice, nice. Yes. Delicious. <laughs> yes, right. it's delicious. Uh, let's see, Ivania, since we can practice more. Ivania, no, let's see. No, teacher, it's your turn. No, you can you need you need to practice too. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, number five. What did you do uh on your last summer? Well you said that already, right? Yes. Ah, okay, so let's see, what did you do uh for your last Christmas? Last Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, um all Christmas as with my family mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I, don't know, I don't know the least <laughs> that attempt is that go out to to order the dinner ah, because uh -huh. my mom don't cook she it's didn't nice. cook no she didn't cook oh, okay. nice. Uh -huh. um, and then we uh, went to the church. Okay. Went to the church and, and got meeting with my sister family. Ah, okay. House okay. and mm -hmm. eat, eat all eat all together. Mm -hmm. uh, then the child open the gift. <laughs> and you open, open the, the gifts. Gift. Okay. Uh, nice. Then, then I don't know. Then only uh, stay to talking about anything with different parents. Okay. Um, then my sister go out. Um, I sleep. With my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, did you uh, did you drink wine or anything fancy? You know, or so uh, or what? No, no, no. Only <laughs> soda. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's see, Josué. Now, can you participate, Josué? Josué. Jose disappeared. <laughs> no, I, I am here. Ah, okay, he's there. He's okay. there. <laughs> I would like to choose the uh, color black. I the think. color black. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Two. Where did you go for your last vacations? Where you you said that already, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where did you go for? Uh, did you go out on? Uh, 
on January the 1st, you know, for New Year. Did you go out on, on that day? Yes. Ah, where uh, did you go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I visited, uh, I don't know if you know it, is a, um, in, uh, Iglus in, in, I don't know, I don't remember the, the Isalco. Ah, in Isalco. Mm. Isalco, Isalco. Isalco Volcano. Volcano. No. Uh, yes. Volcano. Volcano. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have a, um, a place. I, I don't remember the name of the, the name, but the place, but it's beautiful, beautiful view. It's a Campo Bello. Ah, Campo Bello. Yeah, I have heard of it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, was a good experience. I recommend everybody. Ah, nice, nice. Yes. And who did you go with? Uh, my, all my family. Mm, okay. And uh, how many days did you stay there? Uh, we have we we stayed two days. Two days. Okay, nice. Yes. Was it cold at night? Yes. Too cold. <laughs> Very uh, cold. <laughs> in one moment in, in the night, uh, with my girlfriend, we we go out to 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 wash all, all the stars mm -hmm. in the sky, mm -hmm. and we have to we have to uh, go outside with a colcha, <laughs> <laughs> with a blanket. Uh -huh. Do it with the blanket, yes. Ah, okay, so yeah, it was very cold. <laughs> yeah, very cold. Okay, nice. But it sounds like a good experience and in a in a in a in a very exciting experience. I want yeah. to go there. I want to go there, but I think it is a little expensive, right? And you need yeah. to take you need to take all the food and everything. You have to prepare everything there because you don't have a restaurant or you have a restaurant there. No, 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 no. You have uh -huh. to uh -huh. the, the, yes. uh, but you have the uh, refrigerator, you have a kitchen, a kitchen. Ah, okay. you have uh, your your bed, your ah, bed, okay. uh, TV. Yeah, but I don't like to cook, that's the problem. It's a big problem. It's a big problem, yeah. yeah. No. You know, I can prepare you eggs, I can prepare... A sandwich, you know, that's easy, but I don't think I can prepare other, other things, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that's a little problem for me. <laughs> the basic yeah. food. <laughs> yeah, the basic food, yeah. I mean, I don't die, you know, I don't die. But, but okay. yeah, I, I want to go to a place in which they give us the food. For example, at El Tunco, uh, there is a hotel in which they give you the, the breakfast. And you don't have to look for the breakfast, you know, that's, that's better for me. I mean, of course, I don't want to buy anything expensive because the place is expensive. But I want to enjoy, you know, and relax, not to cook and be busy. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, it sounds like a good experience. I'm going to take that into consideration, okay? <laughs> so thank okay. you, Thank you. And Saida, hi Saida, how are you? Hi, teacher. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> so we have three colors. We have orange, gray, and yellow. Which color do you want? Orange. Orange, okay. Let's see what number you are going to be. Number six, excellent. So let's see. Who did you see yesterday? Tell us, who did you see yesterday? I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Not even a person? Your mom, your brother, ah. your sister? Uh -huh. ah, my mom and my father. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I, okay. Saw, I, am, I saw my turtles. And your turtles? Oh, how many turtles do you have? Two. How yeah. old are they? Mm, five, no. I, five years. Five years, wow. And they live inside your house or outside? Yes. Yeah, My, because I, I, 
I know some people that they have their turtles outside and I'm like, that turtle mm -hmm. is going to run away, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, it's okay, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to continue practicing this tomorrow, okay? We need to move on uh, with uh, the class. So remember, um, we were practicing last class uh, the past participle verbs, okay? So very quickly, we are going to do a little test, okay? Just to see if you, if we know uh, most of the verbs, okay? So we're going to go to this link, okay? Past participle two. And I'm going to ask you to help me complete the, uh, the test. Okay, so this is going to be very easy. <clears throat> I just want to double check that we know the verbs, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Uh, Josue, what do you think? What is the past participle of a speak? It's yeah. spoken. Uh huh. It's spoken. I was looking at your lips. Okay, so I thought that you were saying spoken. Okay, nice. Yes. Uh, Diana, sit. What do you think is the, the past Sat. part? Sat. Sat. Okay. Thank you. Drive, Ivania. What do you think? Driven. Driven. Okay. Thank you. Oops. Okay. Number four. Something. What is the past participle of let? Let. Yeah, same. Let. Run. Let's see, Josue, what is the past participle of run? Run. How do you spell run? R-U-N. Okay, R. And the participle on the left, and we have the present on A. Okay. Let's see, number one, Anna, what do you think? Letter D. Keep. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D, excellent. Number three, Saida. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. Letter C. Okay, excellent. And uh, letter E. Okay. Send. Send. Anya, understand. Understood. And Saida. Meet. Met. 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 Okay. Is both and a rice. 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 Okay. I don't mean true or it's any right driving. True or false? False. Mm -hmm. Hold haired side. True or false? True. Yes. Okay. Pay, pave. Anna, what do you think? True. And Ivani, what do you think? True. Perfect. Let's see, let's check the answers. Oh. Yeah, that's correct. Don't worry. Right. So it is important that we remember these verbs because we're going to use it for the present perfect. We're going to see the present perfect uh, right now. Okay. And we're going to use the past participle. Just for you to remember, for example, go is the present. Went is the past, and gone is the, the past participle. We're going to use this one today and the rest of the week, okay? We're going to use gone. Uh, watch is the present, watched is the past, and watched is also the uh, past participle, okay? We are going to use the last one of the list, okay? Now, but first, we are going to remember about some auxiliaries. For example, uh, when I'm talking about the present, and I am talking about he, she, and it, what is the auxiliary? Can you tell me? For example, have and has. if I want to make a sentence uh, in the present, okay? Simple present, okay? Not in the simple past, not in the present perfect. Has. What? Yes, Okay, we, we have am, um, is, or are, yeah. but what is. about the present? Uh -huh. Is. 
Okay, we can have is. And also we have another one. What is the other? Das. Okay, perfect. Das. Okay. Das. So when we have these two, we use them for the simple present. Okay. And what about you, we, and they? What are the ones that we use? Are. Are and do. Are and do. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Um, let's see, Anna, can you tell me one uh, sentence using das in negative, please? In das, um, doesn't my brother um, drive, drive in a car or okay. drive in a car? My brother doesn't, uh-huh. Drive in a car. No, my brother doesn't drive, drive a, a car. car. Uh -huh. okay. Drive a car. Uh -huh. in, the sim in the simple form, okay, perfect. Let's see, Ivana. Uh, what about do in negative? Do in negative. Can you tell me a sentence, please? Um, yes. Uh -huh. um, they, they don't go out with her mom, no. Their uh -huh. mom. Uh -huh. They don't go out with their mom. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what about is? Is. Let's see. Uh, Saida, can you tell me one sentence using is? She is beautiful. She is beautiful. Perfect. And Josue, can you tell me one sentence using are? Using are. Mm -hmm. uh, are you happy today? Okay, are you happy today? Perfect, okay. So remember, uh, we're going to use is and are for sentences in affirmative, okay? Uh, and we're going to use do and does only for negative and questions, okay? So that's why the negative of does is doesn't, and the negative of do is don't. Now, when we are asking a question, the first thing is does. For example, does your mother, have a car? Does your father speak English? Okay. Now, when we're talking about do, it's for you, we, and they. So, do we speak English? Do you have a car? Okay. In that case, we are using the auxiliaries in the present. Okay. Remember that in the, in the affirmative, we're not going to use does. Okay. We're going to change the verb. Okay. For example, she works, uh, he plays, okay? We don't use does, okay? En el presente nunca utilizamos el das como auxiliar, sino que, lo, perdón, no lo utilizamos de manera afirmativa, sino que únicamente para preguntas y para, eh, y para oraciones negativas, okay? De lo contrario, en afirmativo no lo utilizamos. Igual pasa con do, okay? We don't use do for affirmative sentences. Only for negative, that is don't, and for questions that is due, okay? So let's remember that. What about the past? What is the auxiliary for the past? Did. Uh-huh, did, okay, excellent, okay? Did. And what about for you, we, and they? What is the auxiliary? The same, did. Uh-huh, did, the same, okay? So the difference is that in the present, we change it, okay? We change some words. In the past, no, okay? We stay the same, okay? So we don't use did in affirmative. We need to change the verb, okay? In affirmative, in este caso, no cambiamos el verbo. Perdón, no, no incluimos did, sino que cambiamos el verbo. Únicamente ponemos did para negative and for questions, okay? Solo para eso vamos a usar el did en este caso. Now, we're going to see what is the auxiliary for the present perfect. Okay, for he, she, and it, we're going to use has, okay? We're going to use has. And for you, we, and they, we're going to use have, okay? So, in the present, the auxiliary is do and does, okay? Para el presente, los auxiliares son do y does. De por sí, do and does no significan nada sino que nada más acompañen al verbo para poder funcionar o para poder hacer una oración. 
In the case of did, is the same thing, ¿ok? Solamente acompañan al verbo. Es decir, que después de did va a tener un verbo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I didn't visit, I didn't play, I didn't go, I didn't buy, ¿ok? Etc. En el caso del present perfect, we're going to use has and have. Yo sé que have es un verbo, ¿ok? Que es tener, por ejemplo, I have a car. Pero en ese caso lo vamos a utilizar como un auxiliary, ¿ok? Va a funcionar de la misma manera que did y que do y que does, ¿ok? Únicamente que lo vamos a usar para otros, para otros fines, ¿ok? So, solo quiero que se fijen en eso. I, you, I want you to notice uh, the relationship of the auxiliaries, ¿ok? So, today we're going to see the first meaning that we have for present perfect, ¿ok? El primer uso que tenemos para el present perfect. Today we're going to see that, ¿ok? So, let's see, Anna, can you read this, uh, can you read this, please, the blue part? Okay, past recent event. We mm -hmm. don't say when or with time expressions, including no. Okay, so we're going to use uh, have or has to talk about past recent events, okay? So, something that happened recently, okay? It was maybe uh, some minutes ago, some hours ago, some days ago, okay, recently. Not last year, okay? Ooh, last year is a long time ago, okay? That's like very, very far from the time, okay? And uh, we're talking about recent events, okay? Cosas que pasaron recientemente. Aquí tengo dos ejemplos. She has had an exam. She has had an exam. If you see, I am using has because I am using she, okay? Just like this. And after that, I am using the, the verb in the past participle. What is the verb? What is the verb, people? Ha. Have, okay? Because the present is have, the past is have, and the past participle is have. So remember, we're going to use only the, per, the past participle, okay? So she has had an accident, okay? Ella ha tenido un accidente. She has had an accident, okay? I have passed the exam, okay? I have passed the exam, okay? So these are two examples of sentences that something that happened recently, okay? Algo que pasó hace poco, all right? We're going to see some other examples. Um, no nos enfoquemos en esto de just, already, and yet. Todavía no, por favor. Porque eso lo voy a explicar de último. Okay, ahora vamos a pasar para recently. Okay? Recently. So think about something that you have done recently. For example, in my case, uh, I have watched a movie recently. Okay? Recientemente. Something that I did recently. Okay? So I have seen or I have watched a movie recently. What about you? What about you? Tell me something that you have done recently. An activity that you have done recently. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me an example? Alguna actividad que han hecho recientemente? Mm -hmm. Ahí tendrían que decir I have y luego el, el, la actividad usando el, el verbo en, par, en past participle. Uh -huh. I have cleaned uh -huh. my room. Recently. 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 Uh -huh. I have cleaned my room recently. Okay? Eso quiere decir que lo hizo hace poco. Okay? Recientemente. Entonces ese es uno de los primeros usos que se le puede dar a esto. Okay? I, have, I have cleaned my room recently, okay? Ivania and Josue, can you tell me an example, please? Yes, mm -hmm. I have uh, gone to Laureles Hotel ah, Okay, I have gone to uh, Los Laureles Hotel recently, okay, perfect, okay? Eso fue hace poco, okay? So, recientemente, recently, nice. And Josue? Yes, I have uh, played football recently. Ah, perfect. I have played 
uh, football or soccer recently. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's nice. Also, we can use some time expressions to talk about um, something, a time that it was recent, okay? Un tiempo que fue reciente. Por ejemplo, today, okay? Eso quiere decir reciente. Eh, today, que, que pasó ahora, o sea, esto está cercano. This week, okay? Esta semana, igual eso es cercano, okay? This month, okay? Este mes. This weekend, okay? Ese fin de semana es algo muy cercano. Ya si decimos eh, this year, bueno, en este, en este caso this year se podría usar, ¿ok? Porque apenas estamos en el segundo mes, right Pero si ya digo last year, ahí ya tendría que ser en pasado, ¿ok? Por okay. ejemplo, uh, I have an example in negative, ¿ok? I haven't seen Ted today. I haven't seen Pedro today, ¿ok? I yeah. haven't seen Pedro today. So, today yeah. is recent, okay? Estamos aún yeah. en el día. El día no ha terminado. Quién sabe que se conecta dentro de cinco minutos, right? But yeah, I haven't seen uh, Pedro today, okay? Maybe he's busy. Maybe he's not feeling well, okay? So, try to tell me another example using today, this week, this month, or this weekend. Uh -huh. Ahí como ustedes prefieren. Today, this week, this month, uh -huh. or this weekend. Uh -huh. One example more. It can I be haven't activity. listened to music uh -huh. this day. Okay, I haven't listened to music today. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Perfect. Another example of something that you haven't that you haven't done today or this week or this month or you maybe something that you have done today this week or this month for example i have seen a series uh, i have seen a, i have seen a series today mm -hmm. i have seen a series today mm -hmm. what about you tell me something that you have done today or this week or this month uh -huh. I have I have gone to the beach last week. Ah, this weekend or when? This week. No, this week. Ah, this week. But this week is sí. Monday is the first one. This weekend. Ah, no, this, this weekend. weekend. Ah, this weekend. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. I haven't eaten pupusas this month. Ah, you haven't eaten pupusas this month, really? Yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. Are you Salvadorian? <laughs> yes, but don't, don't stay in El Salvador. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yes. si se fijan. Okay, thank you. So, si se fijan, estas, estas, estas frases son de presente, okay? Porque por lo menos el día no ha terminado, okay? Sería so, yeah, today. This week. La semana no ha terminado. Entonces, hasta cierto punto todavía es presente, ¿ok? Sin embargo, se está hablando de actividades que ya hizo, pero todavía en este periodo de tiempo, ¿ok? This week, this month, o incluso this year, que apenas estamos en el segundo mes, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I haven't gone to the, to the movie theater this year. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone to the movie theater this year, ¿ok? Last year, yes, I, I went. But this year, no, I haven't gone, okay? I haven't gone. So, ¿está, está claro cómo se usa en el, en el presente esta combinación de verbos? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. All right. But... All right. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to see how to use just already and yet, porque esa es la única que nos falta, okay? Bueno, acá les mencionaba eh, present phrases. Voy a poner I have... Uh, I haven't, voy a poner uno en presente primero, en affirmative. I have, uh, I have played soccer recently. That's what uh, the, uh, Josué told me over there, okay. So, si se fijan aquí estoy usando ambos, estoy usando have y estoy usando el verbo en participio, okay. Y voy a escribir lo que Ana me dijo. I haven't listened 
to music this today you told me right yes okay today okay el día no se ha terminado tal vez para dormir va a escuchar algo de música no sabemos right maybe <laughs> maybe right so entonces así igual así usamos eso okay let me see mm, ah yeah I'm gonna to write mine I haven't gone to the movie theater this year okay en todos esos casos estoy usando eh, phrases in the present okay que sería recently today and this year okay ahí estoy usando las eh, frases en presente right y recently ya me lo mencionamos por ahí, así que no lo voy a tocar. Lo voy a quitar. Okay. Now we're going to use how, or we're going to uh, learn how to use uh, yet, already, and just. Okay. Just, we're going to use it for something that you did in the moment. Okay. Right now, for example, I have just eaten dinner. Okay. Maybe a couple of minutes ago, a couple of um, a couple of hours ago, maybe one or two hours ago, okay? And if you see, it's in the center, okay? It's in the middle, okay? And that means that you have done it like a couple of minutes ago, a couple of hours ago, okay? Can you tell me one example of something that you did before the class? I have just driven in my house. Driving to your house, right? Yes. Driven? Yeah, sorry, driven to your house. Driven, yeah, driven, uh -huh. sorry, driven. Okay, to my house, I'm going to write, oops, Tommy, no, Tommy, no, to my house. <laughs> okay, so, I have just uh, driven, driven to my house, okay? Or one person can say, for example, if, I don't know, Pedro comes to the class and he's like, teacher, I'm sorry, I have just arrived to the house, okay? So he was maybe late, you know, he was in the traffic, okay? So he has just arrived to his house. And I'm going to write that example. He has just uh, arrived to the house, okay? Maybe a couple of minutes ago, yeah, and he was, you know, like eating lunch or something, okay? Sorry, eating dinner or something or having dinner. But then he was doing something else, right? What about already, okay? Already. Uh, we use already at the end, okay? Already, okay? And, oh no, sorry, in the center, okay? I have already, and then you say the, the, the phrase, okay? I have already taken my medicine, okay? This means that you did it already, okay? But it was not some minutes ago, okay? It maybe it was in the past, you know, during the day, okay? Okay, eso significa ya, yeah. okay, ya. Yeah. Ya he tomado mi medicina, okay? I have already taken, okay? A, a person can ask you, did you take your medicine? Yes, I have already taken my medicine, okay? So, como que ya la tomé, okay? Don't worry, ya la tomé, okay? I have already taken my medicine, okay? So, if I ask you, did you study English on the weekend? ¿Cómo sería la oración? Did you study English during the weekend? Or did I you have already uh -huh. Uh -huh. studied uh -huh. studied english english uh -huh. today okay today perfect okay yes to the teacher okay i have already studied okay so give me the test teacher i want to do this <laughs> okay <laughs> i have already studied english today uh did you take a shower today people Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I have already uh -huh. took a shower. <laughs> ah, okay. I have already taken a shower. Taken a shower. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. Yes, teacher, ya me bañé. Okay, I have already taken a shower. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you see the difference between just and already? Ven la diferencia entre just y already? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, we're going to talk about yet, okay? Yet is only for negative, okay? We're going to use yet for negative, okay? And this means todavía, okay? For example, I haven't, um, I haven't eaten, no, I haven't had dinner yet, okay? I haven't had dinner yet. Todavía no he, eh, todavía no, no he tomado mi, 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 mi cena, okay? I haven't had dinner yet. But maybe after the class, yes, okay? Maybe after the class, yes. But right now, no, not yet, okay? Todavía no, okay? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me something that you haven't done yet? I haven't worked yet. Ah, I haven't worked. Oops. Yet. Okay. But maybe you're going to do it, right? I haven't. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. I haven't worked yet. Okay. Maybe in a few minutes, in a few hours, but right now, not yet. Okay. Another example. I haven't I drunk. Haven't my coffee. Ah, I haven't yet. drunk my coffee yet. Okay. Tell me, Josue. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Ah, okay. Give me a second. My computer is kind of crazy. Okay, there. <laughs> so, coffee double E. Perfect. Uh, I haven't brushed my teeth yet okay perfect right now no but maybe you're going to do it in a few minutes okay yeah maybe you're going to watch some videos and then you say yeah i'm going to brush my teeth but right now not yet okay not yet okay so this is the first use for the uh, present perfect okay así es como nosotros usamos el present perfect estos son una uno de los primeros Tres casos que vamos a ver de tres usos que se le puede dar, ¿ok? Pero sí es importante que recordemos eso, ¿ok? Present phrases, uh, de frases que son del, del, del presente que aún no ha terminado. Por ejemplo, today, this week, this month, ¿ok? Y también podemos mencionar estas otras palabras. Just, already y yet, ¿ok? Estas pueden ser tanto... En, bueno, just and already solamente para afirmativas, ¿ok? Y yet se puede para negativas y para preguntas, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, uh, have, you, have you watched the new movie yet? ¿Ok? En ese caso, este yet... Eh, Eh, significa, eh, es casi parecido, la traducción sería casi igual a just o already, ok. Pero, eh, en ese caso, no, 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 no se traduce igual, sino que se traduce como already, ok. Como que ya viste la nueva película, ok. Have you watched the, the new movie yet? Ok. Have you watched the, the, new, the, new, the new movie yet? O en el caso que usted quiere usar already, have you already watched the new movie? Okay. Have you already watched the new movie? Okay. Aquí se lo puede poner. Puedo usar yet. Or you can use uh, already in the center. Okay. So, que se nos quede grabadito estas pequeñas reglas. Y mañana le voy a hacer preguntas usando have, ¿ok? Igual, ¿qué, ¿cómo creen que se respondería aquí? Si dijera yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Como me están preguntando yes, con have. have, tengo que responder con have, right? Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo sería have en negative? 
No, I haven't. No, I no, haven't. I haven't. Uh -huh. No, I haven't. Okay. So it is very simple. Okay. These activities are in the present because, for example, today is not finished. Okay. Um, or this year is not finished. This month is not finished. Okay. And we have some examples here with just already and yet. Have you finished yet? Okay. Ya terminaste? Yes, I have already finished. Okay, you see, ya terminado. Okay, so this is the first uh, use for present perfect. Okay, all right. So, nada más les recuerdo que uh, we're going to finish this week. Okay, so by Friday, you should have finished the section number five. Okay, so this is like in the middle of section number five because we have a couple of exercises using uh, have or has. So if you want to wait until tomorrow or Wednesday uh, to complete that part, you can do it. Or you can do it by yourself, okay? That's not a problem. This, because I think in most of the cases, you need to think if it's have or has, and then you need to think about the verb in the past participle. So I think that's easy to complete, okay? So okay. thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you okay. so much thank for being in the class. Uh, I appreciate that thank a lot you, sure. and have a good night, okay? See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, bye-bye.